Hi, my name is Jeff O'Neill. I am a 43-year-old male, and this is my story. Last fall and winter, I noticed my body starting to really break down. I was getting, feeling kind of sick and sluggish all the time. I wasn't sleeping well. My energy level was shot. I was working as a probation officer, and every day at work, I would go on my break, take it out in my car for 15 minutes. At lunchtime, I would sleep in my car for an hour. In the afternoon, I'd take a break, sleep in my car again, and I just took this as being fatigue and just I wasn't sleeping well. I was getting a lot of pain in my stomach at the time, which I didn't realize then, but it was actually my liver that was actually swollen up and it was distended a little bit in my stomach because my liver is infected. I went through this pain for the winter months and then in January I was at work on January 3rd and I tried to use the restroom and I could not urinate. Extremely painful, like shooting needles. I went straight to urgent care. Um, they did a rectal exam on me, and the PA there said that uh, I had a prostate infection. They did blood work and exams, and they put me on an antibiotic for the next month and uh, blood pressure medication to help me. For the next month, I struggled because I was fighting fevers um, on a daily basis. I would just start shaking, and then I'd get hot, and I would just start sweating. Um, at night, I literally could not lay in my bed. I had to be propped up in a chair because if my stomach was flat, the pain would shoot so bad through my liver that I couldn't hardly move, almost like paralysis. It hurt so bad. For two months, I took the medication for one month. The one month, I kept waiting for the medication to kind of kick in and heal me. And I had fevers on a daily basis. I was taking Tylenol every day at work. And about two months after, in March, I finally told my wife, I said, I gotta go to the doctor. The doctor ordered, ordered all my lab work from the other company, and he looked at my lab work and said, I don't think you have a prostate infection. He said, uh, your liver enzymes are so elevated, something's going on. He said, I'm going to test you for cancer and multiple other stuff, do blood work, urinalysis, stool samples, and I'm sending for a, t a CT scan. On March 24th, I went for a CT scan. I had an appointment the following Tuesday, and I did a CT scan that day, and I went home at 10 a.m. expecting to go back next Tuesday at 2 p.m. I got a call from the nurse, the doctor's office, sounded kind of frantic, and said we need you to report to the doctor's office immediately. My doctor walked in the room, kind of put his head down, was very solemn, and he said, I don't know what to tell you, but you're a mess. So you have stage four cancer, it's metastatic. And I, I, I didn't really understand anything at the time. I just kind of lost it, and he said it was stage four cancer. I said, what does that mean? He said, well, he said, you have a nine centimeter tumor in your colon. And he said, I did your rectal exam, but they actually felt they're pushing on the tumor, not your prostate. It's that low in your, in your colon. And he said, it has spread to your, both your lungs. It has spread to your liver. Your liver is completely covered in cancer and your liver is enlarged. It's also spread to all your lymph nodes. I just sat there and I just didn't know what to say and I asked him, I said, are you telling me I'm going to die? And he just kind of looked at me and he said, your prognosis for beating this is not good, it's too far gone. And at that moment, I just knew I was going to trust God with the situation. Whether it went well or didn't go well, I was going to trust God and let his plan be perfect for my life. After my diagnosis, I uh, went to Cedar sinai Hospital in Los Angeles, Beverly Hills area, based on a friend of mine at church who went there previously and said the doctors there were excellent. I met with the oncology surgeon and we reviewed my case. They were very concerned about an abscess in my colon, which is possibly going to perforate the colon wall um, along with the tumor and other stuff. And one of them told me that my prognosis of being a cancer was not good. The other two telling me that my cancer was so far advanced that they were just very sorry for me. I just really didn't know what to think. I just knew that I was going to trust God, keep my faith and uh, positive attitude and, you know, whatever it was going to be, it was going to be. I went through my first round of chemo on April 18th, which was about three and a half weeks after my original diagnosis. During that time, I had lost 25 pounds. My eyes were yellowing. I was, uh, my eyes were jaundiced. Um, my face was kind of looking like it was sunk in. Um, I was struggling to do anything other than sit on the couch. People would come visit me just to kind of check on me, see how I'm doing. It was not uncommon for me just to fall asleep during a conversation, wake up two hours later, everybody's gone, it's now, you know, the evening. 
my liver was fully uh, grossly enlarged. Um, I could not lay flat. If I went flat, the pain would be so severe, I could not do anything. I had pain in my rectum from the tumors that was constant. Um, I, I was a mess. Just prior to my first round of chemo, I tried to basketball one time with my son. I walked outside, I shot two baskets over about a 30 second period, and I was so exhausted I had to go in. I wouldn't say I struggled with depression, but I was extremely frustrated because I could not do what I wanted to do. I had no energy to do anything other than lay on the couch, and I had no real appetite. I was dropping weight, trying to drink protein drinks. Things just weren't going very well for me. The picture you're getting ready to see is from April 17th, the day before I started my first round of chemo. I had been up for about three and a half, four hours. I did my testimony at my church that day. This picture really bothered me because I know how sick I was at the time and I, and I know when I look at the picture, I look like somebody's heading towards death's doorstep. The second picture you're getting ready to see is not from April 17th, it's actually this past week, which would have been uh, July 12th. My wife and I were at Disneyland um, during my last round of chemo. I took my chemo bag, carried with me to Disneyland, uh, downtown Disney, and spent time with my wife walking around. Since then to now, I have gained all the weight back that I lost, and things have went completely different. After my first round of chemo, for 40 hours straight I had a fever. I went to the hospital to finish my round of chemo. The hospital was very concerned, thought I had an infection because I had had a fever for almost 18 hours at the time. I got hospitalized overnight. Um, the fevers would not stop. My skin was very cool to the touch, but inside I was on fire and I could feel it. They packed me in ice for almost 24 hours. I laid in the bed just with my underwear on. I packed ice under my arms ice behind my head, I had ice pack across my chest, I had ice packs underneath my legs, and they kept my room very cold, trying to break these fevers. After 24 hours being in the hospital, I was released because my fever had finally broke, and they were doing blood cultures to see if I had infections in my blood. I went home that Thursday, and I was supposed to have an appointment with Golden Sunrise Pharmaceuticals the following day. I wanted to go to Golden Sunrise Pharmaceuticals, but I was so sick, I could not make the 35 mile trip due to my condition. All I want to do is sit on the couch. So I actually canceled the appointment. The following Friday, I actually went to Golden Sunrise Pharmaceuticals and met with the representative. After I was released from the hospital, I really felt like God was leading my path. And a friend of mine from church that I'd known since I was a kid, she was my Young Life leader, introduced me to Golden Sunrise Pharmaceuticals as her husband knew the company very well because somebody he knew was represented for the company and she had previously used their products and she said that she believed they would help me. During the meeting of Golden Sunrise, I was told that this product would do amazing things for me if what I was told was actually correct. I was told the product would rebuild my stem cells and make them larger like they were, like they were before, as I, before I started aging. I was also told that the, stems, the cells would rebuild faster than the chemo could tear it apart, that it would supersede the chemo and I probably would not lose my hair. My chemo I take is 50 hours at a time. I do four different medications and it is a very aggressive chemo. So I've been going to Science Pharmaceuticals. I knew what I was dealing with at the hospital, but they told me that the product would build my immune system up to where as I go through chemo, my side effects should be not much more than getting a flu shot or a mild flu. I left that day with the products went home, started taking them, and this was three days prior to my next round of chemo. Within two days, the sores in my mouth had cleared up. The pains in my hips and my neuropathy were a little bit less intense. Just before my second round of chemo, I took the prescription drug label that Golden Sunrise had given me for immune stem. I provided to my oncologist at Cedar Sinai, and I told him I wanted to take this product, which was all natural. My doctor reviewed the product, label and uh, said he would not have any problem with taking that product as it seemed like it's all natural and it would not interfere with my chemo. After that second round of chemo, I developed a very nasty infection in my jaw that required some very strong antibiotics to clear up. But my side effects from the chemo were not that severe compared to the first round. Uh, as I went on to the next round of chemo, 
each round of chemo, my side effects became less and less. Uh, what I mean by that is the pains in my hips, I stopped having. Um, the real side effects of my chemo was some neuropathy. Only if I touched something cold or went into some area that had cold air, otherwise it wouldn't really affect me too much, and my legs cramp. That was really the only type of side effects I was getting. I still got some sores in my mouth after the next round of chemo, the third round of chemo. Golden Sunrise, I called them up and I said, do you have any suggestions for me? And they said to increase your dosage day before chemo, during chemo, triple your dosage, and the day after. It will kind of help to offset the side effects of the chemo. Well, as I did that, my mouth, sort of my mouth cleared up instantly and I started a regimen going to my fourth round of chemo that I would take the product one time per day. The day before chemo, two days before chemo, I would double it. The day before chemo, I would triple my product. Each day of chemo, I would take it three times. The day after chemo, I would take it three times and then cut back to one time per day. If my body is feeling a little bit lethargic during chemo, we're not feeling that great, I will just increase the product and my energy level increases and my side effects have been very minimal. The two products from Golden Sunrise that I currently use are Activate and Immune Stem. Just prior to using the products, I had got a scratch on my hand right here that would not heal up. It took nearly eight weeks for that to heal up. At the end of May, I got a cut on my leg right here. At that point, I had the immune stem in my system for nearly a month and this wound right here, which was deeper than this cut on my hand, healed up within about four or five days. When I asked Golden Sunrise about that, they said that's because my immune system is being rebuilt by the oils and my body heals more normally compared to somebody who suffers from chemo and their body does not, does not heal. By the time I started my third round of chemo, my energy level had been going up and I started to feel more like my normal self. My appetite had come back, my ability to drink fluids had came back, and I was starting to bring my weight back on to get back to my normal weight. I actually had enough energy, I started playing full court basketball with friends at church, and I started becoming more active during my time away from chemo. I started going out and being active with my kids, um, going places, doing stuff that I didn't do before. Before I was simply on the couch, but as the Activate and the Immune Stem built up my system and repaired my system, I was able to handle the chemo with very little side effects. My energy level would stay up and I was able to stay active with my family, which has been very critical in this process. After round four of chemo, during chemo, the second day I took and my wife and I went on a date, walked the mall, we went to the movies, did a lot of things. My doctor and my nurse was very surprised at what I was doing because this was not typical of a stage four cancer patient and due to the aggressive chemo I had. My doctor and nurse would constantly tell me that it was just amazing and they thought I was doing very well, my body was handling the chemo very well and I was really responding positively. After my fourth round of chemo, I did blood tumor marker tests. If you're familiar with this, I did a CA test, which is a tumor marker, a CA, something that bleeds out or releases from tumors into the body and mine started at uh, 1990, which a normal person I believe is 3.5 or less. And over those first four periods of my first four rounds of chemo, mine dropped over 1400 points down to 467. At the same time, I had my CA199 test, which is another blood tumor marker test, which started like at 3000, dropped down to 2611. The doctor and nurse were very pleased with my progress because this was an indication that my tumors were shrinking and my cancer was shrinking. Just prior to starting around five of chemo, I took a trip with the youth of my church because I'm a leader with the youth. and went down to a college dorm, dormitories, stayed in the dorms, 4,000 people, activities all weekend. I actually played a dodgeball tournament. Um, we won first five rounds, made it to the semifinals of the tournament. I played basketball. I walked the whole campus all weekend. I was very active from the morning till the night. And I went to chemo the following day after the event ended and talked to my doctors and told them I played in the dodgeball tournament. I'm not sure what they would say, my doctor would say, but he actually laughed. And my nurse said that was incredible. And they were very happy for me and said, if I feel good, then keep being active and just be safe. I was feeling great because the immune stent activate had built up my system to where 
I felt like myself, better than I had in probably a year. I started my round of chemo, I set forth on a chemo that next day, or that day. On the second day of chemo, I felt good enough. My wife and I went to Disneyland. I walked California Adventure for the first half of my trip. And then the second half, I actually got a wheelchair because my wife said she don't need to lose my energy level during the day. So I got a wheelchair. We stayed at Disneyland until 11 p.m. that night and had a great time. As of today, I've finished seven rounds of chemo, 350 hours. I'm taking four medications. I'm getting to my eighth round of chemo pretty quick. Since about round four, once the activated immune stem built up my system, my side effects have been very minimal. I mean, I come home from my 50 hours of chemo and the next day I'm out and about doing stuff. Um, if I feel like I need to rest, I listen to my body and I do rest. But at this point right now, I'm leading a very active full life, which three months ago, I did not think was even possible. After this past round of chemo round seven, I was told that my bile ducts, my liver, were actually functioning in normal range for the first time. My heart's functioning in normal range. My organs all function in normal range. My chemistry panel was in the normal range, which this is the first time since I started chemo that I've had everything in the normal range. During my fifth or sixth round of chemo, I was talking to my nurse who informed me she was actually part of the research team at Cedar sinai and I was telling about the activating immune stem and how it had affected me and that's why I was having very little side effects. And she asked me about the company, asked me about the information because she was gonna go research it for herself to learn more information about the company because she was studying immunotherapy at the time and she wanted to learn because she had seen the results that I was having and she knew the aggressive chemo that I was taking. Just prior to my seventh round of chemo, I did CAT scans and the abscess in my colon that was possibly going to perforate the wall is now gone and the rest of the disease and tumors have shrunk about a third according to the doctor so things are definitely going well my body is tolerating the chemo very well and i believe it is strictly because of gold science products and the way they build a barrier against the chemo so i get the benefits but i don't get the suffering and without golden sunrise i'd be very scared to know where i'll be right now Thank you.